Hey guys. Hi everyone. So we've come here today to Blackpool Pleasure Beach on a bank holiday weekend, Saturday the 28th of August. Yeah, so school holidays and bank holiday, so we're expecting it's going to be a busy one, but weather's nice, we thought why not? Yeah, sun's shining, it does look pretty busy here, we've got in about half an hour after park opening, so we'll let you know all the ride times and stuff like that, which will be a really good day. Yeah, I'm really excited and we'll take you along with us. I thought I want a paper copy of the map, but you got to have a... Oh. Yeah, it's like a foot, it's like a scroll. Newspaper. <laughs> oh, your newspaper. Ah, uh, there it is, you see. Still, though. Very convenient to carry around. <laughs> So I'll just come off Ghost Train. Uh, I will never give that ride enough credit. Yeah, we always say, oh, it's just another Ghost Train, but I think it is the best one that we've been on. I'd say so. I mean, every, every corner you took, it was like uh, you thought it was going to be over, but there was always a bit more. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, we're going to do derby races now, as you can see here. We've got a bit of a. They move so quick, you know. She is. Can't see her because she's back quick, but she's very excited. Ready to go. I'm gonna hold on to this and hopefully not fall off. Grand National, eat your heart out. Although there is another ride here called Grand National, which isn't horses. <laughs> <laughs> Derby Racer is what I meant to say. Derby Racer, editing. What? I know. So we just off the Derby Racer. Oh my god, that ride is so funny. I don't know how I didn't fall off. I don't know you didn't fall off. It's just so unexpectedly fast. I mean, it looks fast when you do it, and then you get on it, it's like, oh, that was really fast. And like, there's no seat belts or anything, you just hold onto the handle, and it does go really fast, especially if you're on the outside, which I was. And I kept thinking, I'm sliding off it, but I didn't fall off that quickly. Oh, it was such so a funny. funny ride. Mine was rocking. I mean, I don't know, my, my bum is hurting so much now, just like constant rocking back and forth. <laughs> like, it was so funny though. My like, mouth hurt because we were just yeah, laughing. Yeah, we were just, we just laughing all the way around. So, so funny. funny. About a 10 minute wait, uh, the Ghost Train was about a 10 minute wait as well. We didn't update you on that before. Uh, we're going to go and find another ride. I have no idea what. It looks like the wait times for the rides were only available via the app. Um, certainly what we've seen so far, I mean, we'll let you know if we see anything differently, but it might be the app that you might want to look at to uh, see the wait times. Apparently the icon's 50 minutes, we might take a look at that. Got Wallace and Gromit meeting up here with people. So you just about make out Gromit, Wallace is in the shade, you can just about see him around the corner. I'm not sure, I can't remember where we were sat last year, maybe not last year, two years ago. No. Um, but it was definitely much more intense at the back. One thing Blackpool probably need to change, in my opinion, is like the need to scan in your ticket every time you go through the turnstiles. Because the scanners aren't. No. 
It just means it just means that you've got to scan in every time, and you know if it's taking you like 30 seconds or something to scan through, and other people are waiting to get on behind you, like it just induces a little bit of panic and a little bit of anxiety where it doesn't really need to. And then um, delays the queue as well, so it can make it a longer time than it needs to be. I just you scan it in to get in the park. It's for the whole place, so I don't understand why you need to do it at individual rides. Yeah, but anyway, on that note, we're going to look for a different ride to do now. Um, probably not the big one just yet. We'll look maybe maybe do a dark ride or something. Else. So we've just been in the ice lounge. Uh, we'll put a little bit of footage in here, but we've basically got a panini drink and some crisps for 1360. Pretty decent. If you are getting a panini and a drink, get a bag of crisps for the same price as of this day. We're now just heading over to, I think it's called the Pleasure Beach Express, so like the little train that goes around the park. Okay, so scratch that. We just missed the train by like a minute because we couldn't find how to get in. We know now, so we're gonna go on that a bit later. But we're gonna head over to Wallace and Gromit and have a ride in the slipper. That's quite a surprise, we're already here. <laughs> here it is. I love the theming on this thing. I also love the UB40 in the background. <laughs> Let's do this. Porridge <laughs> 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 today, that Tuesday. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Oh, that's my machine. I've got taken. Just watched Wallace and Robert Ride. Found this uh, evil thing. check. Evil penguin. I called him a chicken. Yeah. I think he is meant to be a chicken. How much is it? Eight ninety five. Ooh, okay, not bad. I can go in the Thai graveyard. Thanks for the bet. <laughs> So many sheep here. So we just got off the Wallace and Gromit ride. Love that ride. It's always faster. It's got a few drops, like a like a little mini kids coaster more than I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, always takes about every single time it takes about surprise, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that you go around in Wallace's slipper, and I love that the the queue lines full of screens with the different Wallace and Gromit shorts playing. It does make it go quicker, and there's fun little posters as well. I really wanted to see if I could find the cheese hat that I posted on social media before. Um, we'll insert a picture. We'll insert a picture here, but it's one of my favourite pictures of Laura. <laughs> um, and it was a good few years back, but it's gone now. They don't they don't focus so much on the cheese aspect anymore. It's more shot on the sheep. <laughs> don't know where you got to. It's gone, do you? No, I'm good. Shame. Right. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do next. Um, we figured the uh, few times on the app aren't like don't indicate anything just random numbers um so we're gonna see we're just gonna see what we can ride next okay so we've just done the big one oh right one, just put it out there. We've, we've done it before, but we've never done the back row, and I thought, oh, let's do the back row, that'll be fun. Yeah. We're both now in pain. Dane's got a dead leg. I think I've got about 24 bruises down my legs. That was rough at the back. Yeah, wow. it was like, we were, <laughs> I'm the same, I absolutely love the big one. Uh, never done the back row, and I thought, back row, back row's great, let's you get back row. We, we don't want to queue up extra for the front row, let's do. So let's do the back row. Yeah, yeah, and we. Uh, why that's free. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, as you go down the very first drop, it's usually amazing. And like, but because you're on the back row, you speed up before you go down, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, basically, it just really hurt. You whack your leg off the uh, lap bar, don't you? Yeah, just constantly. <laughs> it was really, it was still really good though. But rough, very intense. Rough one at the back. Rough yeah. one at the back. Recommend trying to get further forward for that one. Definitely. Uh, we're going to try and do the train now, finally.
views of the different coasters because it's also entwined and this train goes right the way through it. But we seem to be having a, a knack here for missing pretty much everything. You do get a feeling for the time which is crammed into a very small space here, don't you? It go, here goes Infusion. We will not be going on that ride today because we've already got enough bruises. Yeah, if you like bruises on your head. River Caves, enjoyed it just as much as we always do. One of the better, would you call it a dark ride? A dark boat ride? Yeah, I'd say it's a dark boat ride. I especially love the Egyptian uh, Valley of the Kings. A really cool part of the, the ride, that. And, but yeah, one of our favourite rides here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We are also just walking over to Valhalla. Now, it's still not open, so we're on the 28th of August, as we said at the start of the video. It doesn't seem that it's going to open this season, I think. It's such a shame, I mean, that's the one ride I associate with Blackpool so much as Valhalla. That's the one I remember doing as a kid, Bat and River Caves, actually. Um, but yeah, just still not open yet. Um, over open soon, but it's been a while now, hasn't it? Yeah. I believe it's three years since it closed for the refurb. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's very long. I mean, that's probably as long as it is. It takes to build Tron, to be honest, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it opens up soon. Just wanted to have a little peek in the little bit that's open space here, but can't really see anything. There's some kind of uh, scaffolding just peeking over the top of the uh, partition here. Um, you can see more if you go on the, uh, I don't know what you call these. What's this ride called over here? Um, the little aeroplane thing. Yeah, like if you go on that, that ice blast. Well, if you, ice, if you go on ice blast on that side, you'll get a great view of what's going on inside Valhalla. So yeah, try that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were, we were holding off coming to the Pleasure Beach until this ride opened, so we are pretty devastated that it hasn't, but we thought we'd still have a day out here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll come back until it opens now, to be honest. It's my favourite ride. I think they should open this up as well. I know that it's themed with Valhalla, Vikings and stuff, but I don't quite understand why it's closed alongside it. It's open. It's an excellently themed bar. Um, I'm people sure welcome. Still, yes, I'm sure they still get some revenue from it. Okay, so that concludes our day here at Pleasure Beach. I've had a fantastic day. It's been such a fun day and we did say at the start of the video that it is a bank holiday and the school holidays, but even though it was busy, we found that the all the queue wait times were less than were predicted in the app. Yeah. I also found that all the operations, they were just really smooth today. I feel like the staff were just running it, running it, running it really, really smoothly. So yeah, big one, big one, especially the queue just went down like a dream. It was amazing. Highlights for me today with the Derby Racer, which was just, you know, when you just get the giggles and you just can't stop laughing, we had that, so that was funny. Um, also, Wallace and Gromit was fun, and Icon was so much better than it was last time for us. Get back rowing that if you can. Yeah, I loved Icon. Um, I know sometimes you can't get back row if Enzo's on, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. A lot of air time I found this time. I don't, I, yeah, last time I said I preferred the big one, but after my bruises, I think definitely Icon, and Derby Racer was just such a laugh. We're going to enjoy the rest of our day here in Blackpool, go to the Velvet Coaster for a cheeky pint, 
Uh, if you have liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.